Okay, here we are in the very last matchup for my uh, my my female battles. Representing in the Marvel side, ironically, it's the X-Men powerhouse Rogue. So Rogue would have got her way past. So Rogue would have beaten Supergirl and Power Girl on her way to facing Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, of course, beat Valkyrie and Miss Marvel. So as always, like I've done these in the past, I'll scroll back up. <clears throat> I've got nine different factors. Whoever gets the most out of the nine is the person who more than likely would win. You have intelligence, which I'm also including experience, fighting ability, strength, speed, durability. That'd be like your generation ability. I might change that at a later date. Invulnerability, energy projection, versatility, and an all important X factor. So we have the X Men powerhouse Rogue. Now I'm not gonna. This is more kind of close to like the X Men Extreme Rogue, where she has the ability to summon multiple powers and to use them fairly effectively. In X Men Extreme, I think she actually. I'm not at that level because that's a really strong level. She was actually used telekinesis and illusionary abilities to make it appear that like the Hulk was fighting somebody, and the person thought they were fighting the Hulk. You know, if I put up to that level, yeah, she was pretty much a walking god mutant. So she's going to be a step below that. So the ability to call on multiple power sets at the same time. However, I'm not going to have her the ability of creating, you know, like solid illusions of the same skill and power set as the person she's creating. Then on the other side you have Wonder Woman. You know, the JLA powerhouse, the best Amazon. You know, Amazon's race of warrior women, she is the absolute best out of all of them. Most people of course thought that when I put Rogue in her she'd probably be eliminated pretty quick. No, Rogue got her way past Supergirl and Power Girl. Predominantly because of the amount of ability she has. And the way that she actually fights pretty decently. She's got her hands entirely full of something like Wonder Woman. Okay, right off the bat, we're with intelligence. It's intelligence and experience. It's got to go to Wonder Woman. She has been around for quite some time. You know, she's got a fantastic training when it came to the intellectual arts from the Amazons. And she has seen pretty much everything. You know, Rogue has gone through a lot. Wonder Woman, you know, longer history, has seen more. So she gets a slight edge, fighting ability. You know, I Rogue can pull on all these different skills when it comes to like Wolverine's fighting style. She can pull from lots of people's memories and have some of their fighting abilities. She can take on, she is the absolute best Amazon. You know, the, uh, the best fighter out of all the Amazons. Speed. Again, I rather have to go to Wonder Woman. She's got a tremendous level of speed. Strength. You know, in this one, I could probably see giving strength to Rogue. Now, before I get a bunch of people super angry, Rogue does have a power level pretty close to that of Miss Marvel. But she also can enhance that. So she has the ability to have a higher level than Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, I think, have had, has a stronger natural level. But if I see with what Rogue has at her disposal, with the amount of telekinesis ability she can co she can pull upon, I would actually give her an advantage when it comes to strength. You know, then at the same time, if she actually were to touch Diana, she would gain a lot more strength. If you were to combine a little bit of Diana's strength with Miss Marvel's strength, you know, Rogue could really take this pretty quick. Durability. On this one, ironically, when it, when it comes right down to it, you know, Rogue can call upon quite a few different abilities when it comes to regeneration. And on the flip side, you know, Wonder Woman, her regeneration ability as well as her stamina is second to none. I mean, I would probably give durability as well, I'll blend in stamina with this too, because while Wonder Woman doesn't have a true regeneration ability, She's not going to get tired. I can actually picture her being able to pound on Rogue and have Rogue become tired just from the overall physical abuse before Wonder Woman would. So I'll give the durability edge to Wonder Woman. And vulnerability. Bizarrely enough, Wonder Woman can be cut by bullets. She can be cut by slash weapons and piercing weapons. And like most DC 
major superheroes, they have a weakness to electricity. Rogue currently doesn't have any sort of actual you know, vulnerability. She's practically bulletproof. If she's bulletproof, she can take a tremendous beating. That actually gives the vulnerability edge around all things considered to, to Rogue. Now we're at energy projection. This is your raw energy output. It's Rogue. Rogue is walking around with almost every mutant's ability at her disposal. I mean, just, just flat out. Versatility. This is going to come down to, with everything that Rogue knows how to do, what can Wonder Woman do to counter a lot of that? You know, Wonder Woman has got lots of the things like you know, the, the bracers, a full arsenal of weapons. There's a lot of things at her disposal. But would that actually counteract everything that Rogue can do? No, I actually give Rogue, again, the versatility edge. So now we're down to the all-important X-Factor. When it comes right down to it, <clears throat> Rogue has got a tremendous amount of abilities on her. If she could get a decent hold, you know, skin to skin, on Wonder Woman, she could technically take some of her abilities. You know, I would assume that her touching the clay skin of Wonder Woman would probably take away some of her abilities. At the same time, though, Wonder Woman, if there were any more, they were to physically have contact. I think Wonder Woman's overall physical acclimates when it comes to her fighting ability and the way that she knows how to coordinate a fight within her own mind and her speed, the fact that she's not going to get tired. You know, Rogue would have to pretty much try to beat Wonder Woman to death. Which would be hard for her to do. She's got to electrocute Wonder Woman to keep her down, or she has to pretty much beat her to death. And I don't picture Rogue being able to go that far. Wonder Woman? Yeah. If Wonder Woman has no choice, she she could wrap up in the, uh, in the lasso. Wrap her in the lasso, she's going to win. Okay, so it comes right down to it. Wonder Woman has no qualms if she has to. She will kill you. She kills you with a sword. Ironically, when the few times Rogue was killed, she was run through with a sword. Don't know if it was a magical sword or whatnot. I would assume with you know Wonder Woman's arsenal being forged by the gods, if she were to bring a sword to this fight, it might be able to really do a number on Rogue. Rogue being a fist fighter, and Wonder Woman being a a fist fighter as well as having, like I said, a full arsenal, of other weapons she can pull from, and other styles. I do picture this being a tremendously hard fought battle, and if it stays at distance, is it distance? And if Rogue is able to touch Wonder Woman and find out, hey, you know what? Lightning, the storm, bah! Wonder Woman goes down. If, however, this fight stays pretty close, and they're in close range the whole time. You know, Rogue would have to sue for strength in order to match what Wonder Woman can do. I, I say that Wonder Woman has more natural strength. Rogue can surpass her strength when it comes to upping up. You know, she has the access to multiple telekinetic abilities. You know, she could pretty easily pull some of that stuff up from the from the background and be very, very formidable. Or even combining that with, like, you know, Magneto's abilities, who occasionally has shown super strength. You know, she has lots of strength she can pull from. But at the end of the day, I think that if, if the fight stays at a distance, Rogue can take Wonder Woman. It'll take a tremendous amount of output, but Rogue's got enough skills that she can do it. If this fight gets it all close, Wonder Woman's going to take this. So ironically, if the fight is distance, it's Rogue. Wonder Woman wants the fight to be up close. If the fight is up close, Wonder Woman takes this.